people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Villarreal reporting for Conservative New Media. Okay, we're back here on KFIB 1360 AM Modesto and KWSX AM Stockton. 1280 AM Stockton. I'm John D. Villarreal and I'm filling in for Dave today. The phone lines are joining the program and joining the party are 551-3483 in Modesto in the Modesto greater area. If you're outside of that, it's toll-free anywhere in the U.S. at 866-770-5556. We've been getting some great calls today, both inside and outside of Modesto. People want to talk about what is their favorite conservative figure and why, what they stand for, what they believe in and why. And we're talking about what does Victory November look like to you? Is it certain candidates winning? Is it GOP taking one or both houses? Is it certain policies being enacted? And we're going to talk about this as well coming up. The insiders, the GOP elite versus the conservatives. Beck had a huge, huge thing in the mall uh, in Washington, D.C. this Saturday. And a lot of people, the New York Times and others, I believe, if I have this right, the liberal media was trying to say, oh, there's only 1,000 showing up. There's only 97,000, 85,000. Beck and others have said this was, no, this was 300, 500, 600,000 people. And then there were some of the GOP elite that were anonymously sending stuff out there. Uh, to Politico, Mike Allen Politico, who were talking smack about Beck. So we're going to talk about some of these races and the GOP elite versus conservatives. Similarly, the same thing's been happening on the Afternoons Live Facebook page, where there's been a, a, almost a, I would say, a, a, a war of ideas breaking out between the Meg supporters who say we need to support Meg no matter what because she's better than Jerry Brown and other people that say no way we don't want to support the Meg we're not going to support her right now so we're going to talk about all that and more I am John D. Villarreal this is KFIB 1360 AM Modesto hey everybody welcome back to KFIB 1360 AM Modesto and KWSX AM oh, sorry 1280 AM Stockton I am John D. Villarreal I'm filling in for your fearless leader Dave Diamond who is at home well rested having a good time other than battling a crazy beehive with his lovely wife Cammie and his awesome super powerful son Ben. He will be back here to make everything smooth and get Afternoons Live right again tomorrow. Now, here's the thing. We are talking today about what do you believe in and why? And what does Victory in November look like to you? I also asked some people what conservative figure do you admire most and why? And now we're going to get into a bunch of new breaking stories. And we're going to talk about this insiders versus the people. The GOP elite versus the conservatives. And, and what that's about. I also want to talk about the future of the Tea Party. I want to talk about the future of the GOP. What do you think is going to happen post-November? If the Republicans just sweep in, what happens to the Tea Party? And how do we hold the GOP's feet to the fire and reform it from within to make sure that we have policies now that are going to be conservative and put America back on track. If you want to join the party, you can do it right now at 551-3483 in the greater Modesto area. If you're outside the greater Modesto area, it's toll free anywhere in the beautiful United States of America. 866-770-5556 is how you join us. That's 866-770-5556. Five 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 six, and let's let's talk about that actually too, because that's such a, a critical thing right now, today, and I think that's that's the choice that we are faced with in this election. What does America mean to you? What does the stars and what do the stars and stripes mean to you? What is America about? What kind of political system do we want? What kind of tax? policy and system do we want? Economic system. What is America to you? That's what I want to know from you. Now, I want to bring in Paul back here from Conservative New Media. Paul, are you with us? I am, John. Okay, now, let's talk to you a little bit about what Conservative New Media is about very quickly. I mean, we are the fourth largest, most viewed, mainstream conservative channel in the world on YouTube. All right, I mean, we're a full YouTube business partner. We've got everything going on from the Twitter, a big Twitter, huge YouTube channel, the website, a bunch of great authors there, everything. Tell us a little bit about Conservative New Media and how people can find us on the web. Conservative New Media is about bringing people the news that you won't find through the mainstream media via the new media. What does that mean on the web? That means on YouTube, people can see us at Conservative New Media. Just look that up on YouTube. 
People can find us at conservativenewmedia.com. You were talking with Mark earlier, who's one of our great authors. He's great. We're always looking for more authors, and if, you've, if, if the audience out there wants to try to write for us or if they have some ideas, please hit us up at conservativenewmedia at gmail.com. We are always looking to add new talent. People can find us at Conserve New Media, at Conserve New Media on Twitter, and we've got a Conservative New Media Facebook page. That's how people can find us and get the, the best stories and the things that the normal media, mainstream media, won't tell you. No, I think that's great. I want to say a couple more things about that. Like, I mean, we're also looking for great reporters around the country. I mean, we have great, yes. we have all kinds of great, you know, female reporters, and we're looking for a, a couple more great female reporters, to, you know, around the country. We've got some folks in Miami. We've got some folks in Israel. we got some folks, at, you know, some potentials in New York. I mean, we want some people around the country. We need some great, you know, male reporters out there, too. I mean, we, we want everybody out there to really get that, that has talent. Now, it's not just the news you can't find. It's, it's, we do things in an entertaining and compelling way, and much like I did uh, you know, with my own channel before with the Ask a Super Genius series, we make the complex very understandable and fun and entertaining and compelling to see and check out. Now, along those lines, we've got national news <laughs> You know, last week with this whole burial thing, but I guess the national news just kind of keeps coming with conservative media and with us, and, and along those lines... I mean, I, we also do the political consulting, and we help campaigns, and we do videos for political campaigns and businesses, and we run campaigns, and we do all that type of stuff. So it's kind of a, a blend of sort of Rush Limbaugh on the web, if you will, uh, in terms of a style, but it's also like David Oxelrod and Karl Rove and stuff like that in terms of the campaigns. We really weaponize the conservative media, uh, the conservative movement. If you're looking for something to get involved with, that's actually going to really make a difference out there, whether it be in people's hearts and minds, but also in campaigns and, and, and it has metrics that you can measure with wins and losses and things that we affect. I think conservative media is the best way to go, and that's why we started it. So definitely hit me up, hit Paul up, join the party now, join the cause now. But we made some more national news today, I guess, the Daily Beast wants to take a shot at me, and I'm super excited about this. Tell us what happened there. Yeah, John, I found this out actually monitoring our Twitter site. A uh, man that I know, actually a, a friend of mine, his name's Oliver Willis, who <laughs> actually uh, works for George Soros' Media Matters, but he's a, he's a good guy, sent me a, a heads up on a story that's on the Daily Beast, which is Tina Brown, big media mogul. Super her, liberal. Her site, yeah, liberal, big media site, though, and it's, it's a well-respected site. And the title of the article is, quote, Worst Campaign Manager Ever <laughs> by great. Benjamin Sarlin. And, of course, you are the supposed worst campaign manager ever. The first video where you're talking about leaving the Berry Hill campaign is on there. Awesome. And, uh, you know, look, I mean, we're, we're going national. No, that's great. And, again, I mean, like I said before, we've got more press and more national press in this campaign. Well, the campaign, as far as I understood, had no national press until I came along. We've got more press and more, you know, more, more national attention in this campaign in a short amount of time with no money than they've ever seen before. That's metrics. That's results. Now, here's the thing about that. Dude, that is a huge badge of honor. Anytime the liberal media, as you know, having you and me both fighting the astroturfers on the front line, anytime they want to poke, you know, point, point you out and say you're the worst ever, that means you're great. That well, means you know they're what? scared of you. Rush Limbaugh spoke to that. They'll tell us who they fear. There you so go. Words, if you're being demonized, that's a good sign. Absolutely. That's. A, I mean, the only thing I could want more than that. I mean, that is a huge badge of honor. And that means that we basically have made it in terms of national figure credibility for the left in terms of being scared of us. Because anyone who listened to the show on Friday, and I got huge response on that, and anyone that looked at those videos, and 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 the, and I know when I mean my personal opinion when I was talking to those reporters, they knew cold. I knew exactly what I was talking about. That's my personal opinion. They may have a different opinion. But definitely that was the feedback that I got. It's like, oh my goodness, this guy is really, really good, and he's dangerous to liberals. He knows what to do. He knows how to win. He knows how to make it happen. And you and just like Beck with just just like Beck with the uh, with the big thing on in Washington, you can call him whatever, but he had half a million people show up there, plus or minus. That's results, and everyone has to Give him respect. It doesn't matter if you call him a clown. He gets results. Now, the only thing I could want more than that is to have Keith Olbermann say that I'm the worst person in the world. I'm <laughs> waiting for that, and, and i got to give it to my boy Brad Guerin. He actually made that list, and I wasn't able to make that yet. 
or like Huffington Post or, or Daily Coast to have a headline with me. That, that's 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 the next step. That's that's the only thing I could want left. If I do that, then I know that I've made it. Or Time Magazine having a cover of me like like with Limbaugh, but we're ways off from that. It's a great goal. That's a great goal. So we're happy about that. We will definitely put that up. We'll definitely list that. We we want everybody to be able to find that. I'm excited about that, and I, I love it. As I said before, I love my haters. I love my haters. They make me more famous. They, they, they're my biggest fans by far. As I said before, you know, if you love me, I'll live in your heart forever. If you hate me, I'll live in your mind forever. You cannot escape the Villa reality. 